go on and Gio always says, you know, he wants the last shot and he would kind of look at you, get me the last shot. It seems like with every big shot he's hit, especially late. And I know you could go to some other guys, but how do you go about a kid in the huddle? Because I've been put in a situation where I could beat this kid. Let me wrestle this match. I could beat this kid. And I had a great week. I'm going to beat this guy. And I'll get caught up in it. Where, where are you at with you're in the huddle, 20 seconds in the go, and you got these guys that want the last shot? Like, is it like, all right, you want it, you got it, or, or you know you're going to Geo or you're going to Harper? Where are you at with all that? You know what? The, the, the one part, you know, I think I, I learned a lot from, you know, Coach Calhoun when I played for him. You know, and I, I used to come off the floor, and I think players see things a little differently sometimes than coaches, you, you know, and, and, and I become a real good listener. You know, what are you seeing out there? Uh, what do you like? And, and, and Gio's really grown with me and that coach, he can't guard me. You know, like he'll give me the matchup. Like coach, he can't guard me. Coach, he can't guard Ron in the post. Um, you know, like, and I like that kind of feedback that you get from guys. And sometimes you hear that from a guy the whole game. And then finally I say, all right, I'm going to run that play for you. But if you don't freaking score, I'm never running <laughs> again, you know. And, and you'd be surprised, Goody, the determination yeah. to score that time once they know that. Yep. But, um, you know, I, I like that kind of feedback. You usually can tell in the huddles, too, yeah. who are the guys that are, are locked in. You know, we play 30 games, 32, 33, 34. It's a long season. Yep. You know, there are certain games that guys just don't have it. Um, and then there are other games that guys have it. And, and, and I think a lot of times you look at matchups, it, it's great to have a guy like Gio because – I always say that it's not an easy position to be in. you got to be willing to miss that shot, yeah. too. And with that missed shot comes a ton of criticism. And, and I say that to Gio. I said, listen, every time, you know, a shot has gone in, the coach gets credit and the player gets credit. But the, the credit is when you miss the shot and you and I are willing to stand up to the media and say, we're going to take it again the next time. You know, like it, it, it's always easy when it goes in and everybody's a great play. Um, you know, and, and, and that kind of thing. But you got to be willing to take the heat when you miss it. And, you, you know, he hasn't missed no. many, but he's been, he's been willing to take that. And I like that. And I think Ron Harper, too, is a guy like that. I think Montez, Montez yep. Matt, we, we got Jacob Young will take mm -hmm. it. He's got tremendous confidence. You, you know, I think we got a lot of players that have that kind of swagger and moxie. And, and, and now moving forward, I think we can make those decisions really based on, you know, some matchups. You know, which which I think is great where you have multiple options at the end of games. But, you know, certainly Gio's been a guy with the ball in his hands. He's done some, you know, magical stuff for us the last yeah. three years. I, 